Our universe is vast and radiant, home to countless massive celestial bodies like stars. Stars are celestial bodies that burn fiercely through nuclear fusion, illuminating the cosmos. The universe harbors trillions of stars, with our Sunday being one of them. This is a black hole, one of the most terrifying entities in space. Anything that ventures near a black hole is mercilessly devoured. Beyond that, the cosmos contains galaxies, nebulae, planets, comets, and billions of other celestial bodies. So, where did all these bodies come from, and how were they formed? The answer lies within the universe itself. In 1927, Belgian astronomer Georges Lemaitre, based on general relativity and astronomical observations, proposed that the universe evolved from an expanding primordial atom, meaning the universe originated from a Big Bang. In its early days, the cosmos was filled with hydrogen gas and helium, forming gas clouds with no luminous stars yet in existence. But at that moment, gravity, one of the four fundamental forces, came into play. Dense gas clouds, under gravity's pull, began to coalesce. As they gathered more mass, internal temperature and pressure soared, ultimately igniting themselves, forming the first dazzling stars. The universe entered a glorious era. Thereafter, as countless new stars and dark matter began to cluster, they formed galaxies, vast celestial systems. Of course, our Milky Way is one such galaxy. Formed in this very environment, scientists have observed the Sun is roughly 4.6 billion years old, meaning about 4.6 billion years ago, the Sun was born within. A gas cloud in the Milky Way, when the Sun was still young, it was surrounded by thousands of rocky fragments. These debris were remnants from the death of previous stars. When they collapsed, also due to gravity, they collided and merged, eventually forming bodies orbiting the Sun, including Mercury, Venus, Earth, and others, all classified as planets. Gravity sculpted every celestial body in the universe, creating sanctuaries where life struggles to survive, a challenging haven for existence. According to the Kepler Space Telescope, most stars in the Milky Way have planets orbiting them on a grander cosmic scale. The number of stars may far exceed the total grains of sand on Earth, spread across a 93 billion light-year expanse, where we live. It's but a tiny corner of the universe, yet illuminated by brilliant starlight. However, the universe is far from eternal. Every celestial body has a lifespan. Massive stars, when their fuel runs out, cannot resist their own gravity, collapsing into black holes. Smaller stars, too, will gradually fade in the future. One day, the universe will plunge back into darkness, devoid of any light. 